three ideas that made millions. Chris and Robin Sorensen's fire or subs. Chris and Robin Sorensen were both firefighters in Florida when they came up with the idea to open a sandwich shop based on their family's 200-year history of fighting fires. In 1994, the brothers borrowed on a credit card belonging to Robin's in-laws and opened their first shop. Decorated with fire equipments and a hand-painted mural that depicted their local fire department. They even gave their subs firefighter-inspired names like Hook and Ladder and Engine Company. Robin worked at the store while Chris continued to work part-time at the fire department. These days, both Sorensen's have put their firefighting days behind them. Firehouse Subs is now a booming franchise business with 514 corporate and franchises locations around the United States and the numbers keep growing. The company plans to continue its expansion in the northeast, central and southwest in 2012. In 2011, Firehouse Subs ranked in 284.9 million dollar in total system sales. Two men in a truck Mary Ellen Sheets never imagined that hauling trash would turn into a multi-million dollar company. In the early 1980s, Sheets' son John and Brick Sorber started doing odd jobs for locals using their pickup truck to haul trash and brush from people's yards and moving furniture. Once the boys went off to college, the phone kept ringing. So Mary Ellen hired two men and bought another truck for $350. At first it was a hobby, but by the late 1980s She quit her job to focus on the business full time. She also made another life-changing decision. She decided to franchise. Today, Two Men and a Truck has 224 locations in 34 states. Brick Sorber has replaced his mom as CEO, but Mary Ellen Sheet still serves on the board of directors and John Sorber is an executive with the company. In 2011, Two Men and a Truck conducted 353,000 moves and had a total of 220 million dollars in sales. Boston Beer Company. You could say beer is in Jim's blood. His father was a fifth generation brewer, but Jim left the family business as a few big brewers took over the market. Koch returned to his roots when he saw people were starting to crave something different. He dug out his great great grandfather's recipe and started brewing in his kitchen. Once his sample brew was perfected, he left his job as a management consultant and went door to door to Boston bars. trying to sell Samuel Adams Boston beer lager. Today the company is the largest craft beer brewer with over 30 different beer styles. It still uses all natural ingredients. The company says it has won more awards in international beer tasting competitions. The Boston Beer Company pulled in 513 million dollar in net revenue in 2011. If you like this video make sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thank you for watching.